Alrighty, baby, we're going for bluefin tuna again. So we're on the tomahawk again. And you can see we got our stuff in this crate. You have the big, strong Santa Cruz Surfcaster hauling our stuff. And a whole line of people down here all going for the tomahawk. You can see everyone's loading up, but I think we have a full boat and we'll be heading way out there. Goal is to catch some big, big, big bluefin tuna. We're still in the harbor right now. Everyone's getting ready to leave. And you can see everyone put their rods on these little rod holders right here. But uh, if you come out here and your rod looks like a lot of the other rods, I suggest using some zip ties like I've done right here. So I color coded mine. These two are the ones I'm going to be using. I got a 100 pound setup, which is this one right here. I'll go into detail in a bit and then i got a 40 pound setup so i got the zip ties on these just to be able to grab them fast because if there's a if there's a bite i don't want to be looking for my rod i want to just be able to grab it and cast because as you can see there's so many rods it's easy to get lost and they have this entire thing on the other side of the boat as well i'm excited basically plan for me is to set up right now while we're still in the harbor and then the second we get out of here i'm going to bed i'm going to try to sleep as much as possible um just so i don't have to sleep while the bluefin are out and biting so the entire day and a half i'm trying to stay awake and get a couple of hours in right now we're on our way into the bluefin tuna fishing grounds i just finished setting up my rod so i'm going to show you exactly what my setup is this is a 100 pound setup this one i'm going to be using primarily at night when we're dropping big heavy flat fall jigs for my reel right here i got the speedmaster 25 by Shimano. There's a lot of mono top shot on here, 100 pound, and then under that it goes to 100 pound braid. And then my rod right here is a Calstar Graphiter. Then I got my 100 pound line going to a swivel right here, and this connects to a 200 pound fluoro leader. So those bluefin tuna have some pretty gnarly teeth. I've used 200 pound leader before, and after four fish, it was pretty nicked up. So I have a new one on here. It should hold up perfectly fine. And right here I have this flat fall jig. This is what I'm gonna be using tonight when we get to the tuna grounds. 320 grams. This is a buffalo flat fall jig. And later I'm gonna show you, but we're gonna charge it up with a UV light, get it nice and glowing down there. And that'll attract the bluefin. I'm gonna put my stuff down and I'm gonna show you this boat because it's very cool. So real quick before I show you this boat, I just quick overview of what we're doing. So we're going for bluefin again. Last time I was on this boat, we absolutely killed it. It was lights out, bite was on fire, bluefin tuna. I got four, three of which were over 100 pounds. And that was in the space of, you know, 24 hours. But if you haven't watched those videos, which I really, really, really recommend, especially if you're going on one of these charters, I'll put the link somewhere in this video. So there's two parts to those. Check them both out. They're pretty informative. And it was just crazy. If you want to see what crazy, crazy bite looks like on a bluefin tuna boat, check out those videos. And right now the captain's just informed us we are in for a four to five hour boat ride out of here. But some background on what I've been doing this last week. So basically I drove down here with the Santa Cruz Surfcaster. We both brought our kayaks down and the goal for us was to catch uh yellow tail from the kayak so we were launching out of la jolla and we were just doing our best we didn't get on any yellow tail but we did get on a non-stop wide open calico bass bite i caught about a 10 pounder so we've been having a lot of fun out here we've been sleeping at campsites in san clemente and then driving down to san diego to fish so this is the very last portion of our trip and it's the portion we're most excited about it's looking like a beautiful night for fishing i can't wait to get out there let me show you this boat quickly. So here I'm at the very, very tip of the boat and I'm looking right in there, should be the captain. Right here, we have live bait. So you can see sardines moving around in there. Those hopefully should be tuna snacks and we have thousands of sardines on board. And then if you come out to the side right here, you'll see everyone's rods lined up. You can see people are already, already ready. They got their jigs already tied on. And we're just, the plan is to get there and catch fish. Right in here, we got more live bait. And basically the deckhands will stand right there and they'll be chumming live bait. So we'll be throwing it into the ocean to attract some bluefin. But really this entire back corner is where most of the fishing happens. So people will be sitting here and just throwing their flat falls all night, literally. We're coming into the boat right here. And we got bathrooms, sinks, there's even a shower in here, so I guess you can take a shower.
shower. I just don't recommend it. And then out here we got the tables. This is the chef gonna be chefing. Everyone sleeps down here and uh, pay attention to this sign because this is actually super steep. Last time I almost fell coming down here. So I am making my way down and actually this is this is my bed right here. I got it right by the stairs which you might think that sucks but actually I found out this is way 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 spacier than the other ones. Last time I was on one down there and it was like sleeping in a little coffin. So here I can actually roll around. There's almost more space than my normal bed. But you can see the sleeping arrangement. We got one, two, and a third person actually fits down here. So you really don't want to be on the bottom probably. But we got bunks all the way down. You can see how these are definitely smaller. So if you're on the Tomahawk, try to get the ones right next to the stairs. Uh, this is, I'm on V right now. So you go on the Tomahawk, get on V. Now we're gonna round this corner right here and it's just more bunks. Bunks as far as the eye can see. Say hello. What's up? We got Everett. And that is it. Official boat tour of the Tomahawk right there. I am ready to get some sleep. We're gonna get some solid shut eye right now so we can get fishing right away. I am in my bunk right now and as you can see, I brought my sleeping bag. Be sure to bring a sleeping bag if you come on this thing. I forgot a pillow. For me, that's not a big deal, but also don't forget a pillow if that's something you need. Hallway is right there with the stairs right over here. But look, if you want some privacy, right there and right there four to five hours right now until we get to the grounds we should get there at around 1 a.m and that's around the time we're gonna start fishing so let's get some sleep i will wake you guys up when we're there and we'll get after some tuna all right guys we've been woken up so we're in tuna territory officially very very excited any moment now we'll be dropping our jigs down and we'll have a good shot on one of these bluefin tuna so right now we're just moving around captain is looking on his sonar trying to find some fish for us and then when that happens he's going to tell us the depth and we're going to drop down i'm going to show you exactly how i'm jigging this rod to get the best results captain just told us 10 fathoms there's some fish down there so what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna take this 320 gram jig and I'm gonna use this UV light to light it up. This will get it glowing down there. And that glow, will get the tuna to hit it. So just make sure I charge it a good amount. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick this jig out there and let it drop. So keeping in mind 10 fathoms, a fathom is six feet. So that's 60 feet I'm gonna let it drop. That's not a lot, but I'll go a little past. 10 fathoms just because I want this thing to go down over the fish's face and then come back up as I reel it. So you can see I'm going over people and that's just to keep my line straight out. So when you're fishing for tuna, you want your line going straight out. You don't want any angle, nothing like this because you'll, you'll lose fish that way. That's 60 feet. I'm gonna crank my drag and I'm just gonna burn it on the way up fast as I can on the way up. I'm gonna drop it again. And this flat fall on the way down is doing a nice flutter motion. A lot of the times it gets hit on the way down and when it gets hit like that, it just feels like you hit the bottom, but there's no such thing as bottom out here. So it's about 3.15 in the morning right now. Been fishing for about an hour. Two bluefin have been pulled up in total, pretty small ones. So, so far, not much, but we're going at it. Right now, they've been being close to limits every night. So it's been pretty, pretty wide open tuna fishing. Hopefully that holds true tonight. We just haven't found a good school. So I'm hoping when that happens, we'll get on them. Check it out, it's pouring out here right now. We are miles out at sea and it is really coming down. Oh my God. I never get seasick, but today, 
today I'm seasick. This is kind of nice though. I'm standing on the ship in the middle of the ocean in the rain puking my guts out. Honestly, no better way to spend a Tuesday night. I'm gonna wait till we stop again then get back on these fish. Hopefully this rain doesn't keep up but it's been going for a bit now. It's almost almost five in the morning. I'm gonna go back inside and finish my food because I just lost quite a bit of it. All right, so it sounds like there's some fish passing under us. What I'm gonna do again is just take my jig quickly, get it glowing here. So you can see, you can see how it lights up just like that with this UV light. And now let's get fishing. Ten fathoms, that's 60-ish feet. 60-ish. So, very, very close. Ten fathoms. They're so close by. Five to ten fathoms right now. These things are out for high eating that bait. They're eating the natural, the natural forage right now. You guys gotta just keep trying everything. Maybe try lighter jigs, like I said. You got some going at 20 fathoms. Just keep working that water column hard, you guys. Good fish underneath us right now, guys. 20 fathoms, get down there. It's coming through real good right here. This is it, come on. We gotta hook up right now. What I'm gonna do to save time is I'm not gonna reel it up all the way. Guys, these things are coming through pretty good. Charlie, throw a couple scoops on the side here. I'm gonna reel it up, but I won't take the jig out of the water. Once it's up, I'll just drop it back down and just keep reeling it so I can keep it between probably 25 and five fathoms. That way I'll just stay in the strike zone longer. and a nice turning in today. Look at this. Still nothing. As the day progresses or as the day starts, I'm gonna start throwing some sardines out here because the jig bite is pretty dead. It has been dead. Only two small fish so far. But when the deckhands chum, they have been eating the live bait. So that tells me a sardine is probably the move. I'm gonna try that next. All right, I'm gonna set up my fly line rod. So this is a much lighter setup. It's a 40 pound setup. So I got the Talica 16 and I got my rod. This is a nice seeker rod right here but it's definitely not as thick as the other one so basically the plan is since the sun is going to come up they should start hitting the live bait pretty good i'm using uh, some 30 pound leader that i'm getting from my friend hookup brother so that's the channel name so i want you guys to go check that out he's on the boat too so basically what i've done here is i got my main line which i got 40 pound mono on here i thread it through here and then I got tied right here using a double uni knot. I'm using nice light fluorocarbon. And the reason why I'm using fluorocarbon is because if you see a tuna, they have big eyes. So those big eyes make them very visual predators. And they will be able to see it very, very well. Usually on trips like these, people who hook up first have the lightest line. So 30 pound should do me well. And I am using these size one gorilla live bait hook so they're very thick and they're very small and now i'm set next time we stop baby i'm throwing a sardine on here we're gonna fly line sunrise on the tomahawk after a night of no sleep and no tuna
11.45 in the morning. Uh, I sort of fell asleep at one of the tables. I just sat down, put my head down, and boom, I was out. But nothing. Right now we haven't even stopped for tuna. We're making our way into some different tuna grounds. I think two nights ago, the bite was really, really hot over by Oceanside. So that's where we were tonight. But it looks like the fish moved. Tuna are very, very highly migratory fish. They move around a lot. So right now we're heading south a little more. We're gonna head over by the Catalina Islands. So right now it's been almost three hours of boat ride. Uh, I'm getting some breakfast and I'm just enjoying the view. You can see they're trolling around a nice heavy setup over here. No hits though. So let's get some breakfast. Hopefully when we get to Catalina, there'll be some bluefin. And if not, we're gonna murder some yellowtail, baby. Alright, it's 9 a.m. Finally made it to a spot. I'm gonna use some live bait, finally. So I got a sardine here and I'm gonna hook him right under here, just like that. And I'm just gonna chuck him in the water and we're gonna let him swim off. So I'm just dropping him in and I'm letting him swim away. So I'm not gonna feed him any line. He's gonna take the spool himself. And look how fast that sardine is. Wow, they're really strong. My plan was to fly line earlier, but there has just not been a point at which we have stopped. We stopped for the first time right now since 5.30 in the morning. So basically I'm just keeping an eye and if this reel starts going off very, very, very fast, it means a fish has probably taken my sardine. So I'll let him eat it and then I'll just tie in the drag and the hook will set itself. Nice, nice, he's on, look at that. Damn, Some, something bit me off. No, it just completely bit me off. Look, no hook. Let's see, dropping another one in. Alrighty, nothing over here. We are gonna keep looking, move locations. Hopefully we can get one. Guys, fly line, fly line, they're pulling up in the corner. Light line, fly line baits, fresh lively baits. Guys, keep switching those baits out. Do whatever you gotta Alrighty. do, throw a cold sniper. I don't care, they're underneath us pretty good right now. Nice, they're boiling. Oh yeah, keep going, oh, nice. keep going. Look at that, we have fish boiling over there. Oof. We're gonna get hit, come on, we're gonna get hit. All right, check this out. We got Thank hooked you. up brothers. Thank you. Right here, look at him, hooked up. How's it feel? That's good. It's good? Thank you. You get him on that fly, on the fly line? Yeah, 20 pounds. 20 pound, that's the way to do it. So go ahead and check out his channel for his video. He's filming right now. Looks like he's got a great fish, so check him out. Spider! Let him down nice. in the corner, guys. Coming down. Oh, there you go. Hey, watch your rod. Nice, nice. Nice. Thank you, brother. Got you. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go, fish on, fish on, oh yeah, oh yeah, Ooh. hey blue shirt, the blue shirt's gotta go up, he's gonna wipe out this whole starboard side, go, 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 nice, finally on, finally on, been watching everyone else hook up, we're finally on, you see that? My sardine is swimming straight out and then boom, smacked. Over, over, go under, go under. Let's get this guy in, just cranking on him, pumping up a little bit, reeling down. And we got some boils right out there. Wow, look at this. Thanks. Ooh, nice. Oh, 
I love that sound. Nice, look at this. Everest hooked up, I'm hooked up. Exactly what I like to see. Let me go under you, under, under, under. I got you. Nice. Nice. I gotta be careful here because I got a light leader. 25 pound leader. So my drag just has to be reasonably set, which it is. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, must be, must be somewhere close. When they see the boat, they freak out. There's a two speed reel, but I'm keeping it on the first speed as long as possible, basically. Because the first speed allows me to gain more line. And I see deep color. I got deep color. I see him down there. Deep color, yeah. Coming up. Ooh. Good run. Good run. He saw the boat, yeah. He's right here. Color, color. Coming in right behind you. Right behind you, the skip. Yeah, keep it nice, we're getting the gaff right here. Right here. That's a nice yellowfin tuna, yeah. Let's throw that thing right in the middle there, bud. Just kick him over. There you go, dude. Get you some. Oh. One, 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 big dog. Woo. All right, guys. Nice, here he comes. Yeah, I see you. Just keep his head in the water, all right? This one. Yep. Right behind you, dude. Look at that. Keep Good job. Coming, guys. Come on. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, I'm right here. I'm standing by, all right? Don't you worry about a thing. Just get him close for me, all right? Yep. Get him close for me where you kill him. Oh man, that one's running shallow. That's so perfect. Get on. One, one, one. Oh. Three. You got him, big dog. Nice. Nice. Woo! Uh, good job, dude. Thank you. What's happening, dude? I got some insane maneuvers going on up there. What? Stay for it, right here. We need some fish. Stay for it. Oh. All right, one second, boys. All right, that's one good fish. That's a nice yellowfin tuna. I'm gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna get another sardine on here. Try to get another one. All right, let's get our bait back in the water, back swimming out, and let's see if we can get another tuna. He's going the wrong way, though. We want him going straight out away from the boat. No. Still the wrong way, buddy. There we go. All right, this sardine is swimming the right way. Straight out, let's see if we can get a fish. You can see we got color on this guy right here. Nice fish, man. Deep color, nice fish, nice fish. You wanna go under me? Go for it. You got a good one, bro. You can see that tuna's coming in backwards, upside down, tail first. And the reason it's not fighting is because this tuna in his whole life has never been upside down. So when you catch a tuna, see, once it gets right side up, now it fights. But basically tuna, if you catch them alive and you flip them upside down, they do not move at all. Because they don't know what's going on. They've never been upside down. So right there, that's how you immobilize a tuna. Scared me. Oh, look at them, right there, right there, wow. Going at it hard here. But we got a lot of baits in the water. Um, you know, they're still boiling a bit, but the, the, the bite has definitely died down a little bit. I'm just hoping I can get more fish. I got that nice yellowfin, probably around 40 pounds, but there's bluefin to be caught. I want to get a bluefin. Although I did break my PB yellowfin. The only yellowfin I'd caught before were these right here in Costa Rica. So check that out. And let's see if we can hook another one. Yep. Yep. I'm on. Fish on. Fish on. Nice. Been going at it for a long, long time. Second one on right now. Hit that live bait. Fly line is the way to go. We've been staying on him. They've been hitting for a while. They were hitting much more earlier, but the bite kind of slowed down. Captain just told us we're staying here a little longer. Look at this. Good size. This is a good one. Where are we? Let's put our rod tips together here. Okay. You gotta be careful here. Come here, come here, Mister Senor. Straight up and down here. Yeah, dude, we yeah. got angle out in front. Walking of you. down here. He's got real slacked out in front here. Under you. All right, guys, 
Hey, hang on. Just let me I'm see. Go that. over you. Come on, go under here, Bubba. All right, rod tip down for me. Rod tip down for me. Rod tip down. Back on it. Back on it. Back on it. Just uh, step right. to midship. Back on it. Back on it. Nice. All right. Yeah, we gotta get this tangle free because this could cost us a fish. Hey, it looks like there's some boils around us right now. That's good. That's good news. Tune our back. We had a slow hour, but it looks like we're back on him and I'm definitely back on him. I'm using a different rod right now. This is the one I rented. So I'm getting a taste of tuna on every rod. Coming under you guys. Oh boy, right there. Oh boy, a big boil right here next to the boat. Coming under you, under you, no, no, under you. Nice. Over you. Nice, and I'm just using the rail here for leverage to really crank on this guy. Get him up here. Nice. Is that another yellow? I think it's blue. Blue? Nice, nice, nice. That's a good fish. Bluefin tuna, baby. Ooh, look at this. Oh, you can't even see it. Look at that. Ooh, that is a big, big old bluefin tuna. Very, very nice. Um, these guys, basically there's three species of bluefin tuna. There's Atlantic, Pacific, and Southern. This is the Pacific bluefin tuna. They can keep their blood warmer than the waters around them, which is rare for fish. Um, so that allows them to be in colder waters and just a very very cool fact. They also have the best eyesight of any bony fish. You can see those big old eyes over there. Those help them see these sardines and slam them. So I'm gonna put this guy down, keep fishing. I want another one. Let's go baby. We drifted and threw uh, live sardines for about three hours. Everett's got two bluefin, I got one yellowfin and one bluefin. So it's been good. We're switching spots, going somewhere else. Gonna get to that new spot, see if we can catch another one. 407, day two. Um, this is when everyone starts to get a little tired. People are down in the bunks, having some naps, or some people outside. But this is when it gets tough. So we'll probably fish until maybe past midnight so we still got quite a bit to go just gotta stay awake <sighs> seriously I, I rarely rarely get seasick twice now quick puke feeling much better Let's catch a fish. Someone just hooked a stingray. Last time I hooked one of these, this happened. But was not expecting to see someone with a stingray on their line. But they are pretty feisty predators. Look at that. Wow. There you go. Bye bye. Nice. Nice, nice. That's a good fish. We went at it for a while, but we gotta head back. We were so, so far up north. 
We're over by Catalina. You know, it's gonna take us seven or eight hours on the boat to get back, so we better start going. Great trip, great fish, lots of puke. Loved every minute of it. So super happy I got one big yellow fin and a good blue fin. We're gonna have plenty of tuna for the rest of the month or year. I'm out here with the Santa Cruz Surfcaster and also check out Hooked Up Bros Fishing. So I'm gonna leave links to the channel down below, but he was fishing all day, he was killing it. Uh, same with Everett from Santa Cruz Surfcaster, but you guys already know he always kills it. Lastly, thank you to Tomahawk, the whole crew, captain, everything was super, super great. The deckhands on this boat are amazing. If you have not come on the Tomahawk, I really, really, really recommend it. Everyone has a great time, there's great food, great fishing, obviously, and all around, I'm very, very impressed with this boat. You won't regret it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like down below. Leave me a comment, I'll reply. Subscribe to the channel, share it with friends, all of that. Guys, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and until next time, tight lines.